Welcome back to Genshin Impact. This should be the right time, I think. One moment. Whoa. Anyway, where is Zhongli taking us? It's a plaza. Ah, you're here. There's no need to order. I've already done so. Third round knockout is not for lightweights, like those taverns in Mondstadt. Here, the owner does not take such unorthodox orders as fruit juice. I ordered some wine-fermented sweet rice balls for you, if that counts. If it is to your liking, dear customers, I shall continue the tale of Lady Ningguan's Jade Chamber. Hey! There's even a storyteller here! Great atmosphere! Besides fine wine, the excellent ambiance is the reason why this place is so well-loved. But when I say ambiance, I refer to a different sort from the one the Tevat Travel Guide uses to judge other establishments. As you all know, high above the land of Liyue lies a pavilion in the clouds, a palace in the mist. What does it mean to have all-seeing eyes? This, my friends, Lady Ningguan's masterwork that bridges earth and sky. Imagine, the weather is clear, and you gaze down from the deck on the world below. Behold, the glorious sights of Liyue Harbor, stretching out far and wide. They say that when Lady Ningguan ponders important affairs, she retreats to her jade chamber with none but her three closest confidants in tow. Why brings she these trusted three to sift through sources, dig through documents, looking for information? Piece by piece, facts and figures paint a picture on the walls of the chamber. But well before the wall is filled, Lady Ningguang's mind is made up. Having made her call, she has every last document shredded, and whoosh, she scatters the shavings out her window. Ah, look at them, how they billow in the wind like a sudden swirling blizzard. As the fragments fall, Traces of text flicker before the eyes of the merchants of Liyue, like ink stains and white snow. The saying goes, the rarest treasures in the land are the words brought by the paper snow. For the words of the Tianquan have the power to move mountains, and all throughout the land know it. These are but scraps of paper, and yet they guide Lady Ningguang's hand. Such is their value. Merely grasping one or two of them will surely gift you a fragment of her wisdom. Enough to stay a step or two ahead of your peers. Tiantuan Ningguang. Feels like we're hearing this name a lot. 
Lily locals talk about her. The Fatui hate her. She's most likely the one who hid the Exuvia, and we saw her at the Rite of Dissension. Huh. Paimon wonders what sort of person she is. At last I have found you. You who returned from Juayun Karst. Who's there? Wait, I am not with the Millilith, nor am I here to claim your bounty. However, I am an emissary of the Leo Achising. My name is Ganyu, secretary at the Yuahai Pavilion, and I have come specifically to meet you. Well, in concrete terms, I am the corporate secretary for the Chising. At the moment, I am serving as Lady Ningguang's special emissary. Ningguang sent you? We were literally just talking about her. My apologies, you who have returned from Jiayun Karst. I am duty-bound and cannot extend my courtesy to you in full. But I have with me a letter from Lady Ningguang. She extends a formal invitation to you in her capacity as Tianquan. She invites you to her palace in the sky. An official invitation? Lady Ningguang said this. Invite her to come here. I wish to meet her. At the Jade Chamber, together we shall snip every one of these entwining dark threads. called herself Ganyu just disappeared. What, we've received an invitation from the Leo at Chising. Paimon still can't believe it. We'll be meeting people that have way more money than Paimon could ever count. We should be on our best manners. <laughs> an invitation to visit the Jade Chamber is a rare honor indeed. You'd best be on your way now. But don't forget about the rite of parting. Once you've finished at the Jade Chamber, meet me at Dihua Marsh. Don't worry, we won't forget. Dihua Marsh. We'll see you there. A new star approaches. Oh there. Come. Come and see these rare and precious materials. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, the right of parting. Okay, how do we get to the Jade Chamber? How do I get there? Uh, what? Okay, go right over here. So I think I found something similar off camera. You can like go up to this high place. And it was kind of hidden between these four bird statue thingies. Maybe this is something similar. Whoa. Ghost. This close. Yeah! 
Keep this close. So Guan Yu works for Ning Yang. But I wonder if that's really true. There it is. Oh, she's over there. I'm gonna assume they're gonna capture us though. We're the number one suspect of murder, even though we contacted the Adepti and did all that. Look up there! That's the Jade Chamber! on the map is the sensible thing to do. Let's look around. There has to be a way up there nearby. Yeah, I just gotta assume the police are up here to arrest us. And we're the idiots that... Oh, there it is. There it is. Hey, look! There's some sort of mechanism thingy. Since this is the right place, it must have something to do with the Jade Chamber. Yes, this must be the way. It, we could use the Guizhong Ballista to see if there's another way up nearby. A reward on the road. Probably something right here. Now we gotta go to the Ballista. Mm-hmm. <gasps> 
keen eye. That requires me to have the rock, doesn't it? Halt! Who trespasses on these hallowed grounds? Exactly. What are you talking about? We're invited guests. What makes you think you can treat us like this? No. Wait. Maybe this was Ningwan's plan all along. She pretended to invite us to the Jade Chamber, but set up a megalith ambush here to arrest us. Ugh. Now Paimon's mad. You, over there. This is a trick, isn't it? How shameless. What? We're just on guard duty. What do you mean, shameless? What nonsense! Seize these suspicious intruders at once! Well, here they come! Line them up and knock them down! Don't waste my time. <laughs> Prepare to be blown away! <sighs> There is no escape! us here. What's all this about? Lady Kuching, these two strange people suddenly appeared. They seem to have designs on the Guizhong Ballista. Who are you calling strange? Hmm? You want to go to the Jade Chamber? Who are you? We're invited guests here to look for the Liyue Qixing. Who are you? Uh, <laughs> 
Well, as it happens, I am one of the Liyue Qixing. Oh! I'm Kuching, the Yuhung of the Qixing. I know of you, Traveler. You're Ningguang's guests, yes? Didn't expect to meet you here in the mountains. Wow. Paimon didn't think we'd meet some super rich big shot out here in the middle of nowhere either. The Guizhong Ballista in Tianhong Pass has long been in disrepair. And yet, it was fixed in a single night. I came here to investigate that occurrence. These Millilith are just here to guard the scene, not to arrest anyone. So, this was all a misunderstanding? Baimon never would have thought. Anyway, for a mortal to be able to repair an Adepti mechanism is quite the mystery. Even to the Chising. Uh, that was. Eh? Huh? Oh, right. So, Lady Yuhang, might you have any idea why Lady Tianquan invited us to go to the Jade Chamber? Just call me Kuching. I'd say that Ningguang's purpose is to request that the savior of Mondstadt take a more neutral stance. Or at least, to not wholly side with the Adepti. We're not taking sides. We spoke with the Adepti. They want to protect Liu as well. When you say protect, you're referring to their sanctimonious arrogance, aren't you? Huh? You are mortals and thus under their protection. There was no way they would have regarded you as someone with the ability to assassinate a god. Naturally, they would also regard Ningguang's locking down the area, questioning the citizenry, and pursuit of the assassin to be pointless work. Perhaps they even wonder if there might be a cover-up. I'll say it like it is. They're underestimating us. Well, you've got a point there. Still, this is the first time Paimon's seen a person from Liyue who doesn't respect the gods or the Adepti. <laughs> Should I respect the shallow sense of time and condescension to mortals that has caused them to delay in moving against us, Chising? Forget it. I shouldn't speak of them this way. This skepticism is mine alone, and Ningguang does not share it. Either way, I will admit that the actions of the Adepti this time were quite restrained. Rex Lapis's death is indeed an extraordinary circumstance. But to think that they would call for a council of Adepti rather than come down here directly... How surprisingly civilized of them. Well, for Ningguang, she would talk anything and everything out if she could. But I doubt we can do that here. The time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? <sighs> Another super bold statement! <sighs> I'll stop here. Honestly, I hadn't intended to say so much. But you're a good listener, Traveler. You should both be off to the Jade Chamber. Don't be late now. Ningguang's schedule is packed to the gills all the way till next year. The cream of Li Yue's mercantile crop all see ascending to the Jade Chamber is the greatest honor. Each brings rich gifts as they visit, all to curry a little favor with Ningguang. Favor? But... but... Wait! That's right! Greeting gifts are a staple of Leah's culture. We need to get one. Not to curry favor or anything, just to... All right, all right. You can decide on your greeting gift yourselves. Let me tell you how to get to the Jade Chamber first. You didn't actually have to come to Mount Tianhong. Go back to Liyue Harbor. Find a guide at the Yuehai Pavilion, and... Well then, may we meet again, Traveler? Well, that Yuhung may not respect the gods, but Paimon thinks she's a pretty cool person. So, what should we give to Ningguang when we see her? Oh, right! Paimon dreamed of an amazing snack last night! Sugar frosted slime! Paimon has a feeling that it would be perfect for a super rich person like Ningguang. Why don't we go with that for a gift? Nope! But Paimon's sure that we 
just need to make it with some boom shakalaka. Let's go gather ingredients. Time waits for no one, and neither will our riches. Yeah, we need to heal. I did not think we'd uh, be doing this. in the air. Huh? Did you hear that? It seemed like it came from those ruins over there. Uh-oh. It looks like the treasure orders have locked someone inside. Oh, was this been it? There's no way it could be him again, though, right? Right? Yeah! Direct assault! Submit! No one escapes my sights! Oh, this is a third secretary. Wingley. Thank you for your help, kind travelers. If you hadn't come to my aid, I surely would have rotted in this cell. Those treasure hoarders. When their mood was good, they'd rearrange those pots of sweet flowers. But when they were in a bad mood, they'd rearrange my face. Aw, oh, it was nothing. No need to thank us all at once or anything. <laughs> I understand. Don't worry. I will compensate you both. Don't say that. I only escaped this predicament because of you. I'm Meng Dan, a supplier for Mingxing Jewelry in Liyue Harbor. I often walk around these mountains in search of antiques. 
I never expected that those treasure hoarders would have their eyes on the same ruins that I had. Before I knew it, they'd caught and imprisoned me. Is there anything that you lack? Uh, antiques, treasure, various knickknacks, you name it. Well, as long as you want what I have to offer, of course. Wait a moment. Actually, we are looking for something. Oh? Huh? And what might that be? Do you have a box that can store presents? We'd like a pretty one. The kind that you can use to store snacks. Of course we do. How can one sell antiques without gift boxes? At Mingxing Jewelry, we have the best gift wrapping service in the Seven Nations. Now just give me a moment, and I'll let the boss know. You can go see her whenever you require that box. Great! Paimon Sugar Frosted Slime now comes in a beautiful package! This seems really, really <laughs> silly. Not even over here. Oh. Okay. Okay, still a little more to go. box from your store uncle Mung already told me about it thank you both for saving him many of the best goods in our store were found by uncle Mung if anything were to happen to him it would be impossible for us to continue doing business here this container is itself an antique with at least 140 years of history it's already been cleaned will it do Yep, yep, yep! It's great! Hang on a moment. Could we borrow one other thing? Sure. Please help yourselves. As long as it's on our shelves. Traveler! This clay pot looks really awesome! If we use an antique as our mixing bowl, we should be able to make a great snack! It's done! The one and only sugar-frosted slime! Carefully now. Into the box it goes, and dust it over with a bit more powdered sugar. Oh yes! You might want to use these two freshly picked flowers as decorations too. Woohoo! It looks beautiful! Great! Now that we've put all that we've got into this box, let's go to the Jade Chamber to see Mingguang! What a weird thing. All right, let's heal. Heal, heal, heal. Oh, oh, man. What I really want to do is do that Statue of the Seven thing. But... Incorrect. I thought this was one of the seven. It's not. It's not. For the sake of story, I'll resonate with Geo. Okay. Got 
got the blessing. Yep. All right, guys. We have the Geo powers now. You know what? Let's let's do that before we sign off. I'll go grab it. Uh, right here. I don't think Geo's very good, but we can use it for a little bit. A tornado is just really, really cool. Would you look at that? Yep. Well, okay, we're Geo now. Anywho, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time for hopefully the Jade Chamber. But until then, catch you later.